And a potentially game changer in the fight against climate change could be sitting in a Cambridge lab. While scientists in the UK say a new type of solid refrigerant could one day replace harmful greenhouse gases that are used in air conditioners and fridges, cutting global emissions dramatically. Here's a report. It might not look like much, a soft, waxy material about the size of a sugar cube. But inside this lab at the University of Cambridge, researchers say it's the future of air conditioning. Unlike traditional refrigerants, which are made of gases that can leak and warm the planet, this new solid refrigerant stays put. And when pressure is applied, its temperature can swing by over 50 degrees Celsius. That is nearly 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The material works using what's called the barocaloric effect. When pressure is applied, heat is released. When pressure is removed, it cools without using gas at all. Since, since my uh, beginning of PhD, I, I've always been very interested in trying to find solid materials that can replace the gases that we use in, in cooling and heating systems. And it's been a, basically a, a long journey of discovery. Uh, we um, were making improvements uh, over time, and then back in 2016 is when we found these breakthrough materials. A prototype air conditioning unit about the size of a suitcase is already up and running. It's loud and bulky for now, but it chills drinks just fine. Scientists say with development, it'll get smaller, quieter and cheaper. Their first real-world units are expected within three years. Cooling large commercial spaces like data centers, schools and supermarkets. Experts say barocaloric systems could cut cooling-related emissions by up to 75%. And as climate change drives soaring demand for air conditioning worldwide, the potential is massive. Eventually, the company hopes to bring this tech into homes and cars, offering cleaner, quieter and potentially cheaper cooling for all.